Hello. It is Monday, 22nd June, 6 p.m. Is there anybody out there? Hello everybody, welcome. <laughs> so, while people are joining, for anybody who doesn't know who I am, uh, I apologise if you do, you get bored of hearing this, my name is Emma. I have been uh, running Pilates Weeks and Cover Santa since 2016 and I've also been working in the green team since 2006. Long time. Today, what are we going to do? We're going to do some rock and roll Pilates. So we're going to rock, we're going to roll, we're going to strengthen, mobilize, and stabilize the body. So, are we ready? I heard yes. Let's do this. So we're going to start standing. Very quickly, we're going to find our nice standing posture. I'm going to move back. So quick and quickly standing so we don't spend too much time here. So feet hip width apart. So we've got about two fist width distance in between our feet. That's number one. Equal weight on each foot, weight in the center of each foot. Knees are straight, but they're not locked, okay? We don't want to push them back. From that push back position, we're going to soften them very slightly. And from here, let's stand really, really long, really beautiful and tall. Imagine you're being drawn up through the top of the head so we're really lovely and long through the body. Just take a couple of big shoulder rolls up, back, and down. So big shoulder rolls all the way around. Let's take one more. And on our last one, we're going to hold our shoulders slightly back and down. So we're lightly drawing our shoulder blades together. But the arms are nice, they're loose, they're relaxed by the sides. Chin tucked slightly back and in, so the back of the neck lengthens. And we should be looking out in front of us at eye level. This is where we start. Now let's start to move. So from here, take a deep inhale through the nose, always out through the nose or the mouth, whatever you prefer. On an exhale, we're going to lift the arms around the side and breathe in as we hold at the top. And then exhale, just let the arms float back to your sides, down the front. Breathe in. Exhale, rise. Arms sweep around the sides and we inhale to hold. Shoulders down. As we exhale, lift and tip the body slightly to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean slightly left. Breathe in center, and we breathe our arms to the side. Let's take that one more time. Inhale and exhale, rise. Breathe in at the top. Exhale, lift, and find that tiny little side bend, just rocking the body from one side to the other. Now this time as we exhale, arms come down. We're gonna roll halfway down. So the head, the neck, the upper, the middle, the lower back come down, so just the back moves, the lower body is still, arms are hanging, breathe in, and then we exhale to roll back up again, as the head lifts, the arms sweep around the sides, breathe in, exhale, lift, and rock side, inhale, center, exhale, other way, breathe in, now as we exhale, we go all the way down, we start the same as before, arms, head, upper, middle, lower back, really focus on the rounding through the spine, when you've gone as far as you can, let the knees soften. Tip from hips come all the way down. As far as you can. Bend the knees as much as you need to to feel comfortable. Breathe in. And then exhale, roll back up. So the hips come back first, the back stays around it. We stretch the knees and then we roll low, middle, upper back, head lift, arms sweep side. Breathe in. Exhale, rock side, and inhale, center. Exhale, other way. Breathe in the center. As we breathe out, we're going to roll all the way down. Come all the way down, really round that spine. So this rounding is really going to help us later on in our exercises. This time when we get to the bottom, take hold of the elbows. Let the head hang, let the shoulders relax, and just rock the body from one side to the other. So try here, keep the legs and the bottom still. 
So we're just moving the upper body. We move from the lower back. So we feel the opening through the lower back and also feel it in the hamstring. And keep breathing. Find center, inhale. As we exhale, arms release and roll the body back up. Feel every single vertebra move. Head, arms and breathe in. Exhale, lift and lean. Each time we come side, maybe we can come just a little bit further. As we exhale, come down, all the way down. Arms, let them hang loose and relax like a monkey. At the bottom, stay, hold the elbows, find that little gentle rock, side to side. Keep the breath flowing. Find center, let the hands come to the floor. We're gonna walk out and we're gonna find our hands and our knees. So, we're gonna start on level one here and then I'm gonna add a level two. When we move to level two, we wanna have the toes come under, but to start with, we can start here. Or you can start here already, it's up to you. So fingers spread wide, wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. From here, as we inhale, let your back up, let your head lift and your chest open. Then as we exhale, we tuck the chin, we separate the shoulder blades, we round the back and we look at our belly button. Inhale, let the back arch, the head lift. And exhale, we round. So moving as far as you can in each direction. Move slowly. Feel the movement through your spine. Take one more arch. Or you can keep going. So if you want to continue here or else, come to center. We're going to curl the toes under. And we're going to take this a little bit further. So on the next exhale, we're going to round the back. So round it as much as you can. Belly in. Press your lower back up. Separate your shoulder blades. Then on an inhale, we're going to lift the knees slightly off the floor. As we exhale, let the knees softly touch back down. And then we breathe in, back through neutral to up. Let's exhale, round again. Chin tucks, how much can you round your back, draw your belly in. And inhale, knees come slightly off the floor. Exhale, knees low, soft. And let the back arch and round the chest open. Let's take one more rounding, rounding. How far can you round? And then the knees lift. Exhale, touch them softly down. Breathe in, arch. And then we're going to exhale, just sit back onto the heels and just let the body reach out. So that rounding is going to help to prepare us for a lot of the exercise, particularly when we get right to the, almost the very end. So, should we come into seated? So, seated here. We're going to start with our knees bent and our feet flat on the floor. Okay, we're not going to be here for long. Before we start and before we move and do anything, we're getting sweaty already, sit the body tall. Use the hands on the shins to lengthen your spine. Now we're going to take a half roll back here with a sliding of the legs. So breathe in, shoulders back and down, chin tucked in, back of neck long. As we exhale, arms come up. We're going to roll back. As we roll back, we start to stretch out the legs, come about halfway. As we inhale, flex the feet. And then as we exhale, we're going to roll back up. And as we do, bend the knees. Sit the body tall. You can use the hands or the shins to help really lengthen the spine and breathe in. As we exhale, round and press the lower back down. And as we do, stretch our legs. As we inhale, flex the feet, toes up, keeping the feet on the floor. And then exhale, rolling back up, legs sliding. Sit tall, sit long. Let's take one more. Ooh, that sun is burning my face. <laughs> exhale. Sliding out. Make sure we only come far enough that when we flex the feet, the legs stay down. Inhale. And then exhale, roll up. 
round, sit tall. And then we're gonna come and have our first round of rolling like a ball. So we're gonna lift our feet. We let the back round, just find the ankles. Make sure you have space behind you, so perhaps you need to adjust. And we're gonna breathe into hold. We're gonna just take five here for round one. But we're gonna come back to this later for something uh, interesting. So as we exhale, we're really round. So belly in, press the lower back down. How much can you round your back? Rock back onto the shoulder blades and we breathe in, come back up and follow it. Exhale up, inhale, come back up. So try and keep that rounded position. So it should be really smooth, hopefully. Here, we've got a lovely mobile back. Mine's a little bit tight through my lower back. position. Let's take one more for now. And when we're done, feet come down. That was our, like a little warm up round. We're going to come back to that with a little twist later. So now we're going to take our full roll down. Now we're a little bit warmer. Hands to shins. So start as we did before, arms forward, shoulders back and down. As we exhale, we roll belly in. Coming all the way down. As we come down, slide the legs. If you need, you can use your hands to help. Arms sweep over. And as we inhale, flex your feet. As we exhale, we're going to roll back up. If you need to, we use the hands and slide them in. Only use them as much as you need to. And then we come and we sit up, hands to shins or arms forward. Exhale, rolling back. As we roll back, legs slide out. So we're taking this exercise further now. You can use your arms to help lower you down. It's a little bit easier to get down than it is to get up. As we exhale, coming up, you need to use your hands, just use them just for that moment that you need them. Slide in the legs in, and then we sit tall. Let's take one more. Slide out as you roll, arms over, inhale, toes to sky or ceiling, whatever you may be. And then we're going to exhale, roll up. If you don't need to use your hands, don't, okay? Only if you need to, to come up with control and keep the feet on the floor. But this time we're going to roll all the way down. I'm going to stay down. Arms over. And then sweep them around to the side and slide the feet in. Feet flat on the floor. I'm just going to turn around so that the sun in my eyes is absolutely burning me. <laughs> so... We're going to take pelvic tilts and we're going to move them into some shoulder bridge. Okay, we've got some arm options coming up later. So arms by your side, very quickly find neutral spine. How do we do that? Glutes, bottom muscles. In the center, we have a flat bone here, our sacrum. It should be flat to the floor. Number two, ribs, just let them soften. So they're not popping up and out, they're in, they're down. Finally, as we did in standing, chin is tucked, Back of neck is long. We should be looking straight up. The sky or ceiling. This is neutral. This is where we start. This is where we finish. Arms by side. So let's find our pelvic tilt first. From that neutral spine, breathe in. And then as we exhale, pressing the lower back down. So we're finding that tuck. Maybe the tailbone lifts slightly. And then we breathe in. Fly my eye. Find that neutral spine again. We're going to exhale, press your lower back down and try and squeeze just your tailbone off. So we've a pair of that shoulder bridge. And then breathe in, find neutral spine. We're going to come up now into our full shoulder bridge. So we start the same, press the lower back down, tilt your pelvis, rolling now one vertebra at a time through the lower back, the middle back. Come up to rest on your shoulder blades. We breathe in. And then we breathe out, rolling back down. We really slowly feel every single vertebra come down, particularly when you get to the lower back. That's the hard bit, is the lower back to get each vertebra to move. One more time like this. Breathe out, press, tilt, and roll. At the top, we inhale as we hold. And then we exhale, rolling back down. Feeling that move. Now you can continue with that, or we're gonna add the arms. So we start exactly the same. We're gonna to exhale to roll all the way up. Now as we inhale, arms are gonna sweep all the way over, 
Whoever feels comfortable, make sure your shoulders are down. They may need to be in a V shape and fly attacking my face. Then as we exhale, keep the arms overhead as we roll back down. Sometimes a little bit tougher, a little bit more of a stretch to get down. And then we inhale, arms back to the side. Let's go again. Exhale, press, tilt, and roll. Coming all the way up. Inhale, arms sweeping over. Maybe they're coming to a V. That is fine. That's a minor. I've you've got tight shoulders like me. Exhale, coming back down. Feeling that movement and then breathe into the side. Let's try and put the arms and the legs together. So they're gonna come up and over at the same time. So we roll up through the spine and at the same time, the arms are gonna sweep over. When you hit the top, the arm should be touching down. Breathe in and then exhale, rolling down through your spine. And as we do, the arms come over. And as we find that neutral spine, arms should be coming to the side. Let's take one more. So last time, body and arms. Remember, if you want, you can still separate the movements or you can just keep the arms where they are. Finding which option feels best for you right now. When we're done then, take the knees, hug them into the chest, maybe give them a little circle, a wiggle, anything that feels good. And we're going to start to rock our knees from side to side. Easy option. If you need a lighter option, your feet stay down on the floor. Arms are going to open wide to the side. Okay? Or come with me, knees lifted. So we've got 90 degree bend, more or less hips and knees. Toes pointed. Legs can be together or knees and feet are hip width. So let's start on level one. Shoulders anchored, neutral spine. As we exhale, knees roll across to one side. Doesn't matter which, matter which side. As far as you can, keeping both shoulders, arms and shoulder blades on the floor, but also keeping your knees lifted off the floor. We inhale and then we exhale, roll the knees all the way to the other side. Keeping anchored through your upper body. So we're getting a beautiful release through our spine. And we're also really working here through our sides, through our abdominals. Exhaling as we move, fly on my head. And inhaling as we pause and hold it each end. Now, if you want a little bit more, if you're finding this easy, listen up. Next time we come to the side and we breathe in, we're going to extend the bottom leg. And then as we exhale, that leg's going to roll all the way across. So now it's the top leg that's straight. As we breathe in, we switch. Bottom leg is straight. And then, oh, we've got a wall in the way there. Exhale, come all the way across. Breathe in, sweat. Remember, if you're finding this too much, if you find that your arms are taking over all the work, keep it a little bit easier. Keep the knees bent. Or maybe the knee doesn't fully straighten. Maybe we just straighten it a little bit. Maybe it's somewhere in between. You just find what feels right for you. Feel the work here. Feel your sides working. Take one more time to each side. Light, light arms, so they're almost not there, they're almost floating. That's it, our last one here, we're gonna come all the way, rolling onto your side and pressing up. Time. We did one. Okay, so we're going to come onto our side here. This is a very, very tiny, tiny movement. Okay, so we're going to bring the elbow under the shoulder. You're probably going to want to come a little bit to the front of your mat because we're going to move. Okay, make sure you've got space to roll. So elbow under shoulder. Once the elbow's under the shoulder, we're not resting. We're pressing it down. So we're lifting up. That arm is really active. We can have the hand on the floor in front or perhaps you want the hand on the hips. It's going to be a little harder to balance long legs. So we're going to do one side, the other side, and then we're going to put the two sides together. So from here, as we inhale, we're going to lift the legs very slightly. And as we exhale, I'm hitting myself, let's fly here. We come back down. Flies everywhere. Get off. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. 
On number three, we're gonna hold up, and then as we exhale, we're gonna roll back, and we're gonna come into that rolling like a ball position. Maybe this hand needs to move, so tucking in, rounding your back, and then we breathe in, stretch back out again, leg lifted. Exhale down, and inhale, let's take in those three lifts and lowers. That's small, but there is a lot of hard work going on here. On number three, we hold up. We exhale, roll, come into that ball position, round your back, belly in. And then breathe in. Come out straight. Okay. And let's practice the other side before we put the two together. So we just take two rounds, separate on the sides, and then we'll put it together. So again, remember, just be a little bit forward. Why is it driving me nuts? Legs straight, elbow under shoulder, press down. Hand can be here, hand can be here, whatever you prefer. And let's go. So we start, inhale, small lift, and exhale, low. Remember, we want to feel it here. It's tiny. Maybe your legs don't even lift. That doesn't matter. On number three, stay up. Exhale, roll back, tuck in. And then breathe in. Stretch out, come into your side again. Exhale down, breathe in. Long legs, really think about stretching them away from you. On last one, stay up. Exhale, roll in, tuck tight. And then breathe in, stretch out. Now we're gonna put them together. So we're gonna take two rounds on each side again. So we're gonna start the same. So we've got our three lifts and rolls. Remember, remember this shoulder should be active, it's pressing down. In, both elbows down, so elbows under shoulders, and then breathe in. We switch sides, stretch out, press the elbow down. Exhale down, inhale, left. Take three times down and up. On number three, stay up, roll back to the center, knees in, back, round. Inhale, stretch back to side number one. Exhale, inhale. Remember, we can be here. It's going to be a little bit more challenging to balance here if we've got the hand lifted. Let's take our last one up. Exhale, roll, tuck in tight, round the body. Breathe in, stretch onto the other side. Exhale, down, inhale, up. And on number three, we're going to stay up. We're going to tuck in. And then we're going to press up into seated. So now we're coming to our challenge. This is an a interesting one. So we're going to rock like rock around the clock. So we're going to roll like a ball around the clock. We've got each hour, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, back to 12. We're going to go one way, we're going to go the other way. In between each direction, we've got two options. I'll tell you them when we get there. One is a rest and one is active work. Okay? So, <laughs> at 12, at 3, at 6, at 9, we have a pause. Okay? And we're going to practice quickly what we're going to do in the pause. If you don't want to do that, you're just going to hold your ball position. Otherwise, come like a ball. So rounding in. Now from here, we've got two options on our pauses at three, six, nine, and 12. We're going to stretch and stretch the legs on an exhale, and then in and in, on an inhale. You can do one leg at a time, or we keep both legs together. So if you want to have a little practice of move, exhale, inhale. Okay, if it's too much to straighten your legs fully, we don't straighten them fully. Just straighten them as much as you can, but they want to be active. So, are we ready to go? So we're going to go around clockwise first, and I'll tell you what to do at the end. Either rest, or we've got a little bit extra if you want to keep working. Remember, pause. So from here, going around in a circle. As we exhale, round the back, chin, and rock back. And then we're going to move around to one o'clock. Exhale back, inhale, come up at two. Now my back to you. Exhale back, inhale, come up at three. We're going to exhale, stretch the legs, both together or one at a time.
spine and inhale back to find your ball. Exhale back, inhale, come to four. Exhale back, inhale, come to five. Find that balance every time we come up at six here. Breathe out, stretch, lengthen, grow, and breathe in, come back in. Let's do the second half of round one. So it's got to get enough momentum to get back up, but not so much that we overbalance and kind of roll it up. And that takes a little bit harder. At nine, what do we do? We stretch, we lengthen, we pause, and we breathe in. Let's finish our clockwise round. We should be on 11, or maybe. And then we come to 12. So on 12, if you want to here, we find we can rest. Cross your legs. Reach forwards and rest. Or we're going to come to open leg rocker. So keep your legs straight. Lengthen your spine. Then round the back. Then roll back. Three tap and rock. And then we're going to come back up. Balance. Hold and leg. So two more. Really round. Feel every vertebra articulate with the floor. Come up. Balance and hold. If you are resting, let's go the other way. So anti-clockwise now. Knees in. Round the other way, roll it like a ball. Number one, we go to 11 o'clock. Two, 10 o'clock. Three, nine o'clock. And by nine o'clock, we hold. Breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in. Bend. Let's go to eight. Keep the breath flowing. Five, balance between control and momentum. We're on number six. Exhale. Inhale. Let's finish the round. Five. Four. Three. I've got a wall in the way. Oh. Like this. And finish. One, two. On one. Back to 12. Rest here if you want, or come with me for your open leg rocker. Tall, long. Breathe out, roll it back. And breathe and come back up. Ooh, I'm very good one. If you're overbalanced, don't worry. Okay? Just keep trying. <laughs> Not very well. Now we should be tired. Quite as well as it was at the beginning. The first round, we cross the legs, everybody relax forwards. So we're nearly there. One more new exercise, and then we go back to the beginning to finish. So from here, if you can, we're going to roll through from our hands and knees. We're going to stretch into our plank, and then we're going to come down to the foot. So we've got two options here we can stay slow, or we can stay controlled. And that is your option. We'll do six reps. So you can do all six slow as we start. So we can do three, everybody together. Okay? Then for the second three reps, you have the option to go and rock with me or stay slow. Okay? We're going to do two reps. So hands come under shoulders. Just find what feels good for your feet. I like to take my feet a little bit wider and my knees and toes to turn slightly out and the heels in. If you feel better here, that's fine. Whatever feels good. Hands under shoulders, forehead to floor. Inhale. Now as we exhale, head lift, neck, shoulders, pressing up. Using your back muscles. Come up as high as you can comfortably. Keeping the, pearl, the pubic bone down. Shoulders down. And we exhale to come back down. Breathe in, lift, rolling up through your spine. So remember, this is your option to stay for all six repetitions if you want. If you want to come with me, this is where it gets interesting. So from here, as we exhale, we're gonna lift the hands, I'm gonna rock forwards, the legs lift, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, inhale, and then we're gonna sit back and stretch. That was round one, we're gonna repeat one more time, remember? Option, stay slow, stay controlled. If you want more dynamic, follow me for the whole little uh, set. 
So let's come forwards. Eight, one more time. Hands on the shoulders, forehead down, inhale. Exhale, rolling up. Using your back muscles, hands are light. Exhale down. Inhale, rise. Try to roll through your spine. Exhale, comes down. Shoulders away from ears. Engage in the back of the body. If you want to rock with me, we lift the hands and we rock. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Last one. And we're going to sit back and stretch out. Oh, and we're nearly done. We're just going to go back to the very, very beginning to finish. So slide your hands under the shoulders. Press up. Press up. International, international sides now. So up to the knees, press to the feet. to center breathe in. As we exhale, release your arms, roll the body back up. As the head lifts the arms, sweep around the side, breathe in. Exhale, lift and rock side to side. Exhale as we move, inhale, center. Hopefully we can move a little bit further. Let's take two times each side. Inhale. Exhale, roll down the last time, all the way down. Hold your elbows, breathe in. And then just rocking one side to the other. Head is really, really heavy. Find center as we inhale and exhale, release the arm, rolling up. Head, arms. Breathe in, exhale, lift and tip, inhale, center, exhale, other side, taking one more time each way. And then we exhale, arms float back to your sides, get the arms a shake, get the legs a shake, get everything a little shake. And there we go, we are done. Good job, well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. We've rocked, we've rolled, we've strengthened, we've stabilized, we've mobilized, bit of everything. Um, I'll be back on Thursday morning, eight o'clock, uh, hopefully on the beach, see what the weather's like. It might be a little bit windy, so maybe not. Um, for some yoga flow, we're gonna strengthen our legs. It's gonna be quite intense, but short, only half an hour. Um, otherwise, have a lovely evening. Enjoy the rest of your week up to Thursday, or if you're not going to be here on Thursday, enjoy the rest of your week completely. And hopefully, I'll see you Thursday, if not. Adios. Ciao.